Steve are rocking out in here. This is uh, Happy New Year, everybody. It's been a long fucking time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. French. Sorry, guys. What's that? It's not French. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi, guys. Hi. I've uh, I've legitimately missed this. Uh, yeah, it's been what? Four months. Having everyone look at you adoringly. Is that <laughs> It's been a weird, it's, it's been, uh, um, as I'm sure a lot of you know, I, I think probably Misha and whomever else have been speaking about it, but I'm sure it's... Yeah, what do you know? <laughs> we're glad Very to little? see you. We're glad to see you. What? We're glad to see you. Glad to see me? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad to see you. Yeah. Uh, you're the hero that helped together on the plane. Yeah. He got outside yeah. the plane and was just flapping his arms. <laughs> I uh, literally held the wing and the fuselage. It was like, keep going! I love this! Uh, yeah. If I hold it together, it means uh, just pouring Alex a massive bourbon, then yes, I, <laughs> I was helpful and facilitated. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> somebody just left. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. This is also the last time we get to see you guys as uh, Sam and Dean Winchester. Aww. Yeah. For now, for now, for now. fingers crossed. Yeah, uh, right. yeah we have. Uh, this is uh, what the, the four week one. Four weeks left. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I know. Well, he, he's acting, but uh, all honesty, it's it's uh, for, we, we. So I'm weird. I'm I'm a lot of you know. I'm hyper emotional and like sensitive and uh, I like my walks in the beach. <laughs> Purple and pink are my. Um, <laughs> my spirit animals. <laughs> uh, I'm very nostalgic, and I've been, I kind of been surprising myself. I was like, I either am just like cool now, or like I'm dealing with this. And then on, uh, on somebody's birthday, I sat in the airport, and I was like, oh, you know, I had already texted him. But I was like, I'm gonna like give a little happy birthday post to, to my boy. And uh, often I'll just find like a picture, usually of us. When we're, what were we, 13 when the show started? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And kind of post, like, it's been so long. But I was like, let me see if I have something. Um, sometimes I have some little gems of uh, skiing or hanging out in my photo album. And so I found a photo. Those will all be released later this year. <laughs> <laughs> There's an app. That, uh, uh, little so I, gems. Yeah, little gems. And so I found, a, uh, I found a photo from our last ever photo shoot as uh, Sam and Dean. And it was like, oh, cool, this is going to be awesome. And then I started typing it, and it was like a small violin was playing. <laughs> I counted out on my fingers how many birthdays I had spent with this dude. And I was like, ah, shh, oh, God. Like, now it's hitting. It's happening. And we said it. It's so happening. Like, yeah, but we were like, March. We'll feel it in March. We'll feel it in March. We're like, oh, whatever. Sure enough, March. And then, like, uh, you know, that was March 1st. And March 2nd was the one-month mark. March 3rd was my Sadie Girl's birthday, rest in peace. It's like everything was like, this is the last ever blah 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 before the uh, girl. This is the last. This is the last time we have to <laughs> Corona, Corona. Uh, no touch, you read the policy. <laughs> I love um, the policy. He's the policy. Problem. It's true, like it was, uh, I mean, you, you were having these kind of emotional feelings at the beginning of the season in yeah. July. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is the, this is the, the last yeah, first sell me day. Out. Sell me <laughs> and, but, you know, and, and rightly so. Like, it, it was, this whole season has been, uh, you know, it's been very emotional and, and very reflective. And, uh, and I, I certainly was like, ah, I'll deal with it later. I'll deal with it later. And sure enough, I have to tell him it was like, March is going to hit. It was like March 1, and here was the problem why it hit. I ended up reading like the last few episodes. Uh, and. <laughs> Y'all made a four to That was. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we just got a, 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 the last, the final episode. Uh, we, we, had given, we had been given kind of a verbal overview of how it was going to go. In what, May or June? After uh, Australia? Yeah, last summer. Yeah. And, uh, but we hadn't seen anything written. There hadn't been any outlines or any uh, breakdowns or certainly no scripts. And, um, something just kind of came through the, through the wire 
Friday. And I sat down in the trailer and I, I decided to read it out loud to some people. And I didn't make it through like one page. Oh, it's tragic. Now, it's not to beautiful. say that this, this, yeah, not to say that the story is tragic, but just like, it's like, is it me being, you know, emotionally, <laughs> oh, that emotional wreck reading this thing was, uh, it was crazy, but it, but it does, it kind of, it, like you said, when you look through those photos, you start reflecting, you start looking back, and you're like, wow, this is, I've, I've never, there's never been anything uh, consistent in my life longer than this show. Uh, I've never done anything more consistently, um, and it's you know it's a it's a lot. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a big void. That's two resident college dropouts. It's just like it should have been. Uh, anyways, uh, love you guys. Let's 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 hear from you. Yes. Well, so um, first I just want to say thank you guys both for your hard work and dedication over the last 15 years, and if you can also Ooh. extend that to the rest of the cast and crew. But on a lighter note, um, I'm getting excited by all the casting announcements that I'm um, seeing surrounding Walker. And I'm wondering, uh, as an executive producer, are you able, are you in on the casting like videos and making the final calls? Like, did you I'm have say? I'm in the background of all the videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no, yeah, so, I am. Yeah, right, so you uh, got like Mitch Pelegi, which yeah, I've been a fan of since X Files. So. Yeah, me too. Uh, most obviously, uh, Mitch. But yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a fun. Little, it's, it seems so far off on the horizon for me, but um, yeah, I, I, I do get to be part of it. It's a, it's a special uh, experience, but I couldn't. Mitch was literally like, I was like, I read the script, and he was like, Mitch, 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 Mitch. Mitch. <laughs> and he texts like, hey, I think he's coming to the set uh, to visit this week. He's shooting something in Vancouver, oh, and yeah. he's like, yeah, come until the 6th. I'll come visit afterwards. Come by. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I'm involved in that. It's such a funny, because it's, it's really present, but it's also sort of like, yeah. you know, super is still, winding down, down, so I'm trying to save myself. Uh, but yeah, I get yeah. involved in that. Uh, Casting is the worst. It is the worst. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure. My first experience that. Yeah. I even asked him about it. I was like, oh. this is awful, because you yeah. see somebody, yeah. and you really like them, and you want them to succeed, and they're really good. Well, because we're always on the other side. We've always been on the other side of it. You know, yeah. we always enter into a room, and we, we have to put on a, a performance yeah. for people who have literally been listening to the same dialogue all day long from yeah. different people. And so, you know, you try to do your best, and, and there's certain anxiety that comes along with walking into a room with a bunch of kind of cold faces going like, okay, let's see if you can do something nice. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, and like this was his first kind of um, time on the other side of that. And I've obviously had to cast for uh, the episodes that I've directed, and it's terrible. I was talking to Matt Cohn about it, because he just recently had to went through it. And, um, you know, I guess being, being actors and having been in that position, you immediately feel the anxiety walk into the room and you're like trying to do anything you can to ease their, uh, ease their nerves. And, um, who was it? I just, uh, oh, it was Sherry uh, Theron was talking about when she went and auditioned for Tom Hanks for, uh, was it That Thing You Do or something like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, she, and she was apparently a nervous wreck and Tom pretended to have a phone call outside and he was just doing that to give her some time to calm down yeah. before he came back in and I was like, yeah, you, I mean, you have to do stuff like that. But most producers, they don't give a shit. <laughs> There's no phone call. Unless, well, unless you're, and I won't, I won't, I won't say the name of this uh, very big Hollywood director. I love it. Yeah. He's got a lot of bad stories about him, but this one I was reading for him uh, for a movie he was directing, and and I was in the room, and no joke, his cell phone rang, and he took the call. Uh -huh. Mid scene. Wow. And I just looked at the cast director, and I'm like, do, do I stop? And she's like, yeah, just, just, just one second. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so he, it was a very quick call, and he goes, okay, I'm sorry. Um, thank you very much, that, that, was, that was great, thanks. And I was like. Oh. I had the same. I, I, had the same I literally just looked at it, and I was like, right. <laughs> I didn't play it all so well, but I had the same thing with what? the casting director for, I don't know which one, but a Mandy Moore movie to play like the love interest 20 years ago, and 18 years ago, was it called? A lot, can I remember? Could have been. I don't know. <laughs> it, was, it was a Fox movie, Fox Studios movie. I remember going, and sure enough, she's sitting down reading with me, and the camera's over her, 
and her office phone starts ringing, and, and I'm, so I sort of, not knowing what to do, kind of pause, and she does this, she's like, carry on, walks across the room to pick up the phone, is like, keep hey. going, and casting, no, but I love you too, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll call you, okay. yes, I've always loved you, yeah, lay back, lay back. hands up, and I'm like, Okay. She sits down and is like, thank you so much. Yeah. Like, uh, okay. At that point in time, I, I, wasn't cool. I, I didn't have enough confidence to go like, you're a real... <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go back and say it to her now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. She was an asshole. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, thanks for bumming us out. Our pleasure. <laughs> so it is kind of a joy to be a, a fan of a show that has such a relationship between the cast and the audience and the crew and the writers that um, I've never been going into a season finale so excited and like confident we're not going to get Game of Thrones. <laughs> Starbucks cup? There will be a cup. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is because you've been these characters for so long, what is uh, something that being Sam and Dean has taught you that you are going to carry with you into whatever next ventures you guys do? You know, like has helped you hone your craft. Something that you've learned in the process of doing this that you're going to keep with you forever. Besides, like a friend. How much time do you have? Probably going to put a list together for you. Uh, I'll 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 name one. I'll pick one. One thing that I. I've learned about myself through this experience of Supernatural, and that was uh, as far as like the work goes. And it only happened when I directed for the first time, and I realized that I, I created myself, I created a certain headspace for myself in order to play Dean Winchester that I wasn't really aware of until I had to direct and then go right back into playing Dean on camera. And I realized very quickly that there were, there were two completely different kind of modes of my brain <laughs> that I had to switch back and forth between. And I guess I'd never realized that uh, when I walk on set um, to play Dean, I have a very clear mind. I'm not, I'm not overthinking things. I'm just, it's basically know the lines and then just see what happens. And, and I think that's, you know, we find a lot of the, the magic uh, because he and I are just kind of available to see what happens because we know the material, we know how to play these characters, and so we don't have to overthink it. And a lot of times, actors will they'll overthink it, they'll overrun their lines to where they'll, they'll say it the exact same every single time, no matter what the person opposite them is doing. And it can, it can be, you know, it can seem kind of robotic and stuff. And so I think you miss the, the nuances of a character, the nuances of a scene, if you're not available to listen and let the, the dialogue kind of take take shape, take form. But in order to do that, you kind of have to be clear-minded and clear-headed. Uh, and I never realized that until like doing the show. I was like, oh, okay, that's that makes a lot of sense. So now that I understand it, I can embrace it more. Uh, yeah, there you go, I guess. But for me, <laughs> my instinct, uh, many things. Uh, but I think the most of all is some version of uh, just keep going. You know, like uh, this isn't the end, so to speak. Uh, they're, they're, I've been blessed and fortunate enough. I think that was finding Dory, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just keep swimming. Is that what <laughs> I, I'm fortunate enough to not have seen, not have seen, seen, saw it. It's a great movie. movie. I'm sure it is. How dare you? Some version of like, I, Come on now. Your kids want to see it. <laughs> many times I've reached what I perceive to be my absolute end. You know, like I'm done. I'm pooped. I can't wake up for work tomorrow. I can't continue work today. I can't do this again. I can't do that again. You have an awful day. You read your sides for the next day. You're like, this is even more difficult. And I'm crying all day and then doing a stunt. I'm crying all day. Then we're doing EPK for you know behind the scenes. Um, and then you get home at night. And you brush your teeth. And you take a shower. And you're like, wow, I did it. Like, I, you know, it was. I, I lost track of where my day was, but I'll be damned. Like, I'm still alive. I'm carrying on. I'm gonna get some sleep and tomorrow's new day. Uh, and I'm gonna do it all over again the next day. I'm gonna do it all over again. You know what? I can do it. You know, like give me, like what do you got? Like throw it at me. Uh, so some version of uh, keep on going. I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna go right here with uh, Flash.
Yes, he was in a black shirt. Yes. It's been Hi. Nice. I'm glad you're both alive. Um, I'm glad you're alive. Yeah. Well, I'm in denial about the end, so I just wanted to ask um, Jensen mm -hmm. a question about playing Michael. Okay. Um, because it wasn't really hard to see Jensen as a demon. You know, like, son of a bitch. And then, you know, like, Michael Barry would say, son of a bitch. So, I mean, because your character, like, shouts a lot, he's like, over the top. And it's real great. <laughs> but then, as Michael, I mean, what was your process to get into that character? Because he's so even, the cadence of his voice is so even. Was How did you prepare? What was your process to do that? Um, I think I, I think I, I told the story about when, uh, when, when I knew that I was going to do, when Michael was going to, um, you know, be on the horizon for me to play, uh, I asked Christian, who was playing Michael at the time, um, is there something that you do that kind of gets you, uh, you know, that you think about that kind of keeps the character? Because I wanted there to be some continuity. And I remember Christian goes, yeah, man, there is. I'm like, oh, sweet. Like, do I need to write this down? What is it? And he, because he had that long cape, or that big trench coat thing. Uh, and uh, I guess it was like a duster. But he, he's, he goes, I do this. And he goes, <laughs> I just remember going, okay. <laughs> but, it, but, it, but I realized, because, you know, there, there, are, there are those kind of tools, those little tricks, those triggers that, uh, that you can use to kind of get, get you into character. So that worked for him, and it, it obviously worked very well, because I thought he did a great job. Uh, I just had this thought when I was playing Michael that this is the most powerful person in the room. And he does not have to flex. And I just remember going like, well, if, if he is that omnipotent, then he probably is just calm, cool, and collected. And so I just tried to, I tried to do that. I tried to think of like, if I was, if, you know, there was no one in this room that even held a candle to the power that I possess. I'd walk with my chest, my chest out, my chin held high. So that's kind of that was kind of my thought process going into it, and then it just kind of like evolved into what it was. Um, so yeah, thanks. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's go over here. Yes, ma'am, right there. Yeah. Jensen, what will you miss most about the character of, or not miss most, about the character of Sam? Jared, what will you miss most, or not, about the character of Dean <laughs> Winchester? Well played. I thought you were correcting yourself. I didn't know. Um, I'll start. Good. Uh, what will I miss most? There is a... <clears throat> I kind of gravitate towards these type of people in real life for some reason. Um, that I get a lot from Dean, a lot from Ackles as well. Um, that are sort of some version of what I talked about earlier with her question. About like, yeah, it sucks. Let's let's uh, put this other foot forward. All right, this sucks too. Let's get to the next foot. Let's, like there's a there's a bit of Dean, and it's a it's endearing, um, but there's this kind of soldier's attitude of. Yeah, this sucks. Let's go. Um, and I dig it. I dig it in real life because I think I have, I have the tendency as a person to kind of uh, overanalyze and pontificate and vacillate between like, oh, should I? Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, how's my hair? <laughs> uh, so there's something nice about just objectively, listen, <clears throat> this isn't going to solve itself. Let's go. Uh, and I, I miss that, or I, I will miss that. Um, what I don't miss is Dean eats all the food. So, um, I get to go back to being the one who eats candy. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I, I don't know if there's something I, I, I won't miss. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure about that part. 
I'll go for that. I mean, there's, there's so much that he and I have, uh, have learned together throughout this, this, this whole process. Um, and, I mean, growing, you know, not only as human beings, but as professionals, and then also with these characters. So, you know, we've been able to, to unpack these guys now for 15 years. And I will say that there's a, a, a ton that I'm going to miss about playing Dean next to Sam and what that, what that chemistry was. Um, I'll pick one. One is, I think he, he brings this amazing kind of uh, straight man humor to, to Sam that bounces great with Dean's idiocy sometimes. <laughs> and I'm gonna, miss, I'm gonna miss doing something as Dean and looking over and seeing him eye roll. Uh, I'm gonna miss the same Winchester eye rolls. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I think it's a bitch face. I think it's a bitch face. I think what I've seen on the interwebs is a bitch face. Um, I'll see because because it is. It's every time, and it's sometimes it's not even scripted. I'll be like, <laughs> right? And just there it is. <laughs> just nothing. Every morning I'm gonna be brushing my teeth and I'll be like, ah, I gotta text Ackles. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, I, I that was not intentional. Sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to make you run across the Yes, yes, no. <laughs> Basically picking people as far away from the microphone as possible. Like, okay, they're there, there, and there, right here. Yeah. 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 Right behind the curtains or anything like that. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Okay. Um, so over 15 years of Supernatural, um, what is a lesson that you hope your fans can take away from the show? Fans? Family? Which you your fans. Your family. Is it family? Well, people. <laughs> uh, That's funny. I literally just yelled that line uh, two days ago. And it was stop killing my people. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Hey, that, was, that was not on set, by the way. That was at home. Yeah, no, that was just when I was brushing my teeth. <laughs> it scared us all. It was sort of like sometimes Dean just flies out of it. Like, anyway, yeah, guys, stop killing my people. <laughs> we had to make some phone calls. Daniil, is he okay? He's kind of think of strange, like. I, I mean, I'm going to go back to a few prior questions. I'll keep going. You know? um, I think that's maybe a, maybe it's life imitating art, and that's what I'm telling myself. You know, because I'm I'm very very sad. Uh, I'm wonderfully sad. This is a really interesting feeling. Uh, I'm sure all of us are in the same boat uh, of being really happy and proud of what's happened, but really kind of like, wait, what? Wait, in four weeks? Like, I might never get to see my buddy again, you know, Sam. The biggest uh, constant in your adult life yeah. will be gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, but tis better to have SBM than to never have. I call this Legends of Tomorrow convention. You guys suck. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'm telling, I guess maybe I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to do like affirmations, like keep going, keep going. You'd be like, hey, what'd you eat yesterday? Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of here. Um, yeah, yeah, keep going. Uh, uh, life, ideally, goes on. Uh, one thing I'll And we were all done for it. Uh, I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm, I always think about, uh, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. You're all looking at me. Uh, and Jared and I haven't talked about this, but I, I'm, I'm proud uh, that that we have helped create something and you guys have found something that brings us all together. 
And, and I think that the, the, the unity factor of, uh, of this community is, um, is powerful and, and speaks volumes. And, um, you know, who, who knew 15 years ago that this little show would have united all of us to, today in Las Vegas together. And we have this, this commonality. Uh, and I think that that's, that's one thing that I hope continues on uh, as, we, uh, as we move into the next, I'd say chapter, but this is like a whole other book. Uh, and, and I hope that this, uh, I hope what we built uh, over these 15 years can continue to keep us unified and, and finding uh, other ways of, of bringing us together. Um, now we're obviously going to, as I'm sure you know, we're going to keep doing these for, I don't know how long. If y'all want. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so we're excited about that. And, um, but yeah, that's, I, I, I'm just proud of, I'm just proud that we have something that, that brings us together, especially, you know, the way that the, the world is right now, it's a uh, very, it can be very heavily divided. So finding things and, and uh, that bring people together of, of all walks of life that we can all enjoy it is, uh, that's, that's what I'm really proud of. And that's what I'm proud that you guys help build with us. So. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Look at that, oh. right next to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious about uh, two episodes ago, I think it was called The Girl's Journey, when you guys were normal. <laughs> How humbling did you feel that episode was for Sam and Dean to experience the SPN world as normal? I feel like it's something like this, because we're getting like feedback. <laughs> Our microphones don't work. Uh, yeah. Is that what aired two weeks ago? When do we come back? Do you know? Sorry, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Next, next Monday. Next Monday, yeah. They're switching us over to Mondays. Yeah. That's right. We don't make it. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was wonderful because, I mean, I'm not going to lie, that's occurred to Jared sometimes. Like, God, this really all works out for Sam and Dean, even when it seemingly doesn't. Uh, it's a fun one. It's worth Next day, it's all set. Uh, I thought it was pretty funny. I thought it was great. Uh, time to kind of dress an elephant in the room that's been in the room for 15 years, or almost. Um, so I enjoyed it, and I enjoyed the sort of like gallows humor of like, of course the pet cars don't work, of course the car would start. Um, yeah, was that the one with the pool hall? Yeah. 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 The next one, got it. It started kind of a thing. No, okay. Premium. Car? Car. Car. Yes. Kids. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. tap dancing. The giants. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Oh, I remember that one. Hey, uh, Jensen, it's Andrew. Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, can you can you dance? What? What do you mean? <laughs> you know, can can you dance? Uh, I, I mean. No. <laughs> He's like, well, I mean, like, not like, you know, in the club. Uh, <laughs> you see what you said, man? <laughs> so you can get ideas. You know, not like, was this, in was the this club. did 50 Cent call you? <laughs> not, you know, in the club. In the club. <laughs> um, and you're so white. And he's like, he's like, no, like, uh, like, you know, Fred Astaire, like Gene Kelly. And I'm like, no! <laughs> what gave you the idea that I could do anything? Jensen like, said, I can only dance in the club. In the club. <laughs> and, uh, and, it, and he was like, so, so you've never, like, taken any lessons? I'm like, no, I, I've taken, no, that's not true. I was like, no, it's not true, actually. I took three lessons when... Daniil and I were engaged, and we were we took three lessons to have when we have our first dance, married couple, and we had this whole thing. It was like a I don't know, maybe like a box drop or something like that. <laughs> oh no, no, I was like we, we committed, <laughs> we committed clearly. And then we get there on the day as the wedding day, and 
she has this like amazing dress and it's so big <laughs> we can't dance <laughs> and all the, those those like six hours that I spent my life that I was like I must really love you uh, ended up like this on the dance floor <laughs> but it looked great they looked wonderful and beautiful um, and happy. so yes yeah, so I was like I, I was like no man I I I, I don't know. He's like, well, could you try? And I was like, you know what? Why not? So that was, uh, yeah, so, so DJ and I had, we had about two, two lessons, or two rehearsals, and it was about an hour and a half each. And so yeah, that was about three hours of rehearsal, and then they were like, okay, we're going to shoot it. And I'm like, good luck. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it turned out all right. Uh, we're going to see you guys elsewhere. Uh, love y'all. Thanks for being here. Okay. Thanks, guys. Super.